back to my channel. My name is Soumya. I've been doing this quiz perform foundational infrastructure task in Google Cloud. So this is a four hour quiz. So in today's video, I'll be performing this lab Google Cloud Pubber Sub Quick Start. So without wasting any time, let's start with this lab. So click on this lab. So this labs are self-explanatory. So you can go through this lab by yourself. So once you perform all of this lab, at last there will be one challenge lab which you need to perform by yourself. So there it will not be having detailed explanation. So you have to do it yourself. I am performing these labs and giving a detailed explanation about all these labs along with this. So I hope it will be useful for you. So let's start with this lab. So this is a 30 minutes lab. In this lab, uh, we will see how to use this Cloud Pubber Serve. So this Cloud Pubber Serve is a messaging service uh, provided by Google. So it is a messaging service it, which is used for exchanging event data among applications and the services hosted on the Google Cloud Platform. So in this lab, we will set up a Pubber Serve topic and add a subscription to that uh, topic. And we will also see how to publish and consume messages to the topic. So let's proceed with the task one, setting up a Pubber Sub. So we can use a Google Cloud Console to perform these operations. Let's go back to Google Cloud Console here. So under navigation menu, if it is not listing uh, Pubber Sub topic, you can always search it here. You can type Pub or Sub. So here it will show in the products and pages. So this is the one. Click on this Pubber Sub. So now we are under this Pubber Sub topic dashboard. So you can add the info panel here. So you can click on create topic. So topic ID will see what we have to create. So the topic must have a unique name for this lab name your topic my topic. So let's copy this. Topic ID it will be my topic. Topic ID so whatever uh, you get in your lab you have to use the same name. Then these are the defaults it's automatically taken. So we will leave this default as is and click on create. So this will add a default subscription and the encryption will be Google managed encryption key. So we will not uh, modify anything here. So now we can see it's creating a topic here. Let's wait for some more time. So it has created a new topic and also added a new subscription. So let's close this. So here you can see my topic got created. So once it's completed, you can come back here and click on check my progress and this will be complete now. So we have created a pub and sub topic. Let's proceed with the task to add a subscription. So now we will make a subscription to access the topic. So let's add a subscription to this topic here. When you come to this uh, uh, Pubber Sub dashboard, here you can see this is the topic. Click on this more actions. Click on create subscription. Under subscription ID. So you need to provide this name my sub. Copy this. So here a subscription ID will be my sub and the topic name is this. So that's the topic for the topic. We are creating the subscription and the delivery type under delivery type. If we select full subscribers must request delivery for other subscription types. Pubber sub delivers messages as soon as they are published. So here these are the delivery types and a message retention duration. So if you click on this question mark, it will expl explain about this. Retain unacknowledged messages with specified duration. If retain acknowledged messages is enabled, acknowledged messages are retained for the same duration. So the retention, uh, we will leave this default. So it will be there for seven days. The expiration duration is set to 31 days. So we will leave all the other defaults as is. Let's click on create. This will add a subscription to the topic. Now you can see if you should get this message. The subscription successfully added. Now you can see the subscription is in active status. So this is the one. Let's go back. Now you can click on check my progress and this will be complete now. So let's proceed with the task three test your understanding. So this is the correct answer. Publisher application creates and sends messages to a topic. Then subscriber applications create a subscription to a topic to receive messages from it. So this is the correct answer. Cloud Pubber Sub is an asynchronous message service designed to be highly reliable and scalable. That's true. Next proceed with the task for publish a message to the topic. So let's publish a message to the topic here under Pubber Sub dashboard. Go to topics. Click on my topics. Go to messages here. Here under messages tab, you need to click on publish message. So under message body, you need to provide this. Hello world. So let's copy this. 
and give here then click on publish the message got published now so that's complete let's move it with the task by view the message to view the message you will use a subscription my sub to pull the message hello world from the topic my topic so let's enter this following command in the command line so let's copy this command so in the cloud shell cloud shell we will be executing this command gcloud pops up subscription full this is how you pull the message so that's the one way to pull the message so here also you can pull in the cloud console so you can click on this so click pull to view messages and temporary delay messages delivered to other subscribers so let's click on this pull so now it's pulling the message to view the messages you will use the subscription my sub to pull the message hello world from the topic my topic so the topic name is my topic and the subscription name is iphone sub so this is how you pull the message so now you see you got a message here hello world so this this is another method where you can pull the message directly from the web console and the second method was from the command line interface which they have explained here so so this is how you create a pub sub topic and add a subscription and send a message so in this lab we saw how to create a pub sub topic add a subscription to the topic and publish a message to the topic and how to pull the message from the topic so once you have completed all this task in this lab you'll get uh, this score so once you get this score you can click on end lab and this will end your lab so it will delete all this uh, resources which you created in as part of this lab so you now you have completed this lab so if we go back so you should get this green check mark i hope you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the latest content on this channel thank you all for watching see you in the next video so in the next video i will be performing this lab using the command line interface